Hey guys, so the previous video was about generating an outline and I'm just recording this video after that. Uh, so as you could see, we generated a pretty good outline for uh, for an article on the topic of how to pick the best apartment. And if you haven't checked out that video, I'll put it, put that into a box up there so you can check it. Uh, it's it's uh, really important in this process, so make sure you do that. Uh, so in this video, we are going to create a full article with uh, GPT-4. I don't really recommend using GPT-3.5 for creating articles. Um, I think it lacks, lacks creativity. Uh, GPT-4 is much slower, but much better for creating articles. Uh, and as I said, uh, if you don't have uh, GPT-4 in chat GPT, you can use the API uh, if you have that on Playground. And of course, if you don't have GPT-4 at all, you can use GPT-3.5, but I found that it's like... Um, not that not that great for creating content it's much more much better for creating outlines and stuff like that um so let's get into the prompt itself so uh first of all uh as a blogger apartment expert now okay you know you should uh, enter uh, your own uh, topic here and copywriter please write an in-depth engaging and well-structured article based on the provided comprehensive article outline on the specific topic you know and what it will do is actually go back and look at all of the all of the you know all of the outline and then generate according to that while creating the article follow a structured approach by planning the content predicting the structure acting on a plan checking the content and making improvements as needed and again this is like ju just a reflection method uh, that that we used while creating the structure. Uh, follow the structure closely and explore all sub themes thoroughly, include key concepts, entities, relationships, and relevant words and phrases to produce a d diverse representation of the subject matter. Now, this is more for cementing SEO to make sure we touch on every key concept and entity relationships and relevant words that are needed for the topic. And what you can do here as well, if you want, you can modify the prompt and actually take the entities from you know the top five ranking websites <coughs> and then add them to the prompt. So it will actually uh, you know uh, put those entities into the content. Provide accurate current and trustworthy information while addressing various search queries and user intents related to the topic. Now, while one thing I didn't uh, really add in here, I think, is, you know, um, you know, tone of voice, for example. I have a prompt for that as well. You can check that out. It's on the channel. But, uh, you know, you can add that as well if you want a specific tone of voice. Um, you know, you can add um, other, uh, any type of uh, uh, modification that you want uh, related to the uh, how you want the content to look like and, and how you want it worded. So, you know, here are some guidelines as well. You know, utilize query semantics, frame semantics, and connections listed to in the structure to create an authoritative very search and semantically relevant content. Now, this is again just semantic SEO. Touching on touching on all of these, I think it's going to be very important moving forward, uh, and it really provides a much better content than just you know using a prompt like write an article on X Y Z. Uh, provide examples, ideas, and tips instead of just making statements. Explain, for example, what rent affordability is and offer suggestions to maintain it. Uh, always explain everything in detail. Explain why it is crucial to assess your priorities and what necessary documents uh, you know are needed for apartment hunting. Use HTML formatting. Now this is impo uh, you know it's not really important if you don't want to you know. Uh, um, or you do the uh, the formatting yourself, but I, I use this so I can instantly just take the content, put it into WordPress uh, editor, and it will be all formatted. Um, so it's it's your personal preference. Uh, now use techniques such as bold, italics, and headings to improve uh, re readability and emph emphasize important points. It's just basic formatting. Uh, when you re recommend a website services, always place an external link to these services. Now, now this is a <coughs> not that accurate every single time because it doesn't have data uh like um uh like real real data i think it goes up to 2019 or so well, i'm not sure if, if they updated it since but uh until we ha i have the plugin or you or you guys have the plugins that they came out with which i applied for it cannot really access real-time data so just make sure you check it uh, if you recommend using several websites or services, put them into a more readable format, like a list of a table. Uh, and again, this is just a reflection method. 
uh, you know, plan, predict, act, check, plan, predict, act. And please generate a long form article instead of short sections with lists, ensuring um, that you follow the above process to create a comprehensive, well-structured and engaging piece of content. Now, this may seem a lot, uh, inf- a lot of information for one single prompt, but it's entirely necessary because uh, what you need to understand is to get the best output from uh, ChatGPT, you need to provide as much detail as you can. And and I could go even more gra- granular to exactly how it should form words and stuff like that. But, you know, I'll have to play around with that a little bit more until I can... Uh, show that to you guys but uh let's look at what it comes up with and the last section is here because a lot of times what gpt4 does is um and 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 it's influenced by how the outline is produced what i've not uh, what i've noticed so far is it will just generate a very short paragraph and then put lists and uh, and generate a very short paragraph and put lists and lists and, and again and again and again and it's just not not the best user experience. So that's why I try to uh, um, tell it to act uh, generate a long form article. Uh, and if it doesn't, then you can stop the generating and and tell it to okay, just you know generate long form article instead of so- short sections. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm a little bit sick. Um, but uh, we'll see in a second like what it comes up with. Okay, so I just uh, did a, a short uh, jump cut. And because I wanted to show you that now it's actually working. So it's not making a list because what it can do is like setting your priorities and make like a a paragraph like this long and it will list, 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 list. Uh, But now it's actually using a long form method and it's using H3s and, you know, explaining, going into detail why picking an area is important rather than just giving you a short list of pick an area, figure out what you can afford and stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I find it's uh, it's much much better. Okay, I just actually stopped the generating because it's going to take a very long time, and I don't want to, you know, uh, you know, spend a lot of time, um, you know, or, or take a lot of your time. But as you can see, it's pretty good generating, and and what you can do as well is just take all of this, uh and you know put it into into your uh, wordpress blog or whatever and if you as again and if you don't want an html formatting just remove it and then and uh you know i think the the biggest uh game changer for me has been with this is actually a second prompt uh at the end which is basically now give me a list of tables lead magnets calculators that i could add to the article to make it more unique and pro- provide a provide a better user experience so what it will do is it will, it will give me t- tables lead magnets calculators that i could add to the article to make it more unique um okay i don't need html uh formatting Yeah, so basically it will give you, um, you know, okay, this is not, uh, okay, it's not bad, actually. Uh, So it will give you kind of a a list of tables, lead magnets that you might not not have thought of. And then you can ask it to actually develop those tables, lead magnets and calculators for you. So once you have an article, it's just just not just a simple article. You can raise its value by so much because maybe you know uh, whatever you can see here, lead magnets, a downloadable apartment hunting checklist. You can add that to it, and then your your uh, your your article will become much more valuable than the ones on on the internet, and especially for tables, uh, this is very good for SEO and semant- semantics. Uh, semantic SEO because then you provide so much information and and you provide so much more context uh, in terms of your topic that you know Google will most likely choose you uh, to rank for a certain keyword and again it's calculators too for example rent affordability calculator commute time calculator just imagine uh, you know utilities cost estimator if you could add that to the to your page and even in, on an individual page like create a calculator for it like how many 
you know, how many links you could uh, attract with that. And, you know, again, it's like I haven't ad asked for interactive maths and quizzes and assessments, but, you know, it's like it's giving me a bunch of information that could make the page much better than just being an article, a sim very simple article. And then uh, once, uh, you know, once it's done generating, I can uh, tell it to uh, develop this quiz. You know, then it will develop this quiz for me. Uh, well, I actually haven't done this before, so I'm actually curious. But you can uh, maybe ask it to code, I even code the quiz. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure, like, or even give you the logical uh, uh, structure of it, like, uh, like on what um, kind of logical structure should it generate. So, yeah, it's it's actually pretty good. What is the most important to you when choosing neighborhood? It's good. So you can actually add this quiz to the page itself. Uh, whatever your website is about and enhance it it's 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 awesome so that was it guys uh, that is how you can generate you know uh, a full article based on the outline that we that you did before with the with the previous prompt and by the way if you know if chat GPT stops with generating all you really have to do is just uh, you know add uh, or type in continue from and here like and real estate agents too, and it will continue from that. And you have to do just as long as it's haven't uh, reached the last uh, part, which is the conclusion. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, if you scored most A's, now you can code this and add, add, add into any uh, like quiz software and add it to your website. But again, it's it's simple as is that. Uh, I'll I, I'll add the prompt in the comment or the video description. Uh, and if you like the video, please leave a comment so I get picked up by the algorithm. Uh, leave a like uh, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And again, as I mentioned in the previous video, my goal is to uh, post one video per day to give you guys as much value as possible. So I'm most likely I will not be editing these videos, um, but I'll provide as much value as I can. So that's it. Thank you very much. See you.